Hey guys, so have you seen my most recent music video? It's okay, don't hide from me. I was bound, but you sent me. This is me. Now the darkness feels like home to me. Want to know how I did this? Then keep watching and please watch all my video to ensure you get the best out of this entire tutorial. So I've been asked a lot in my comments how my characters are so consistent. Like how am I able to get them as consistent as I do in my recent music video? And I thought I would do a tutorial to help you guys showing how I do my character consistency using OpenArt AI. So as always, a disclaimer that this is not free and will require you to have an OpenArt account. Their plans are very generous and you do get what you pay for as this platform has it all. Now I am affiliated with them, and if you click my link in the description below, you will be directed to their website and able to sign up for an account. If you purchase a plan through my referral, then it helps me help you guys. It helps my channel and it helps me make more music videos and tutorials around everything AI for you guys. So have you got your plan? Click the link, it's down there in the description. And let's start this tutorial. So first off guys, we are going to be using open art as I explained, and we are going to first generate an image of a female that we can use. So first we are going to click image, then create new. And here we can see where we enter our prompt and other information. First, we are going to select our model. Now there are many models you can choose from, but we are going to use C dream four. Then we are going to enter our prompt a girl with blonde hair and a high ponytail. She has two loose strands of hair that frame each side of her face. She has bangs, her makeup is perfect, and she is beautiful. This is a model shot, head and shoulders image. She is looking into the camera, ultra realistic, 4K, photo realism. Then we are going to scroll down, select widescreen in the aspect ratio, and set your resolution to 4K and we are going to generate two images and hit create. Now we have our image. She looks hot. <laughs> Let's be real guys. Wow, okay. So we have our female and now we have our female. We are going to pick the image we think is best. And then we're going to hit image reference history and choose the image we just generated. Now to make a consistent character, we are going to need multiple images of her doing different things. So first, Let's do this. Model shot. She lays on the ground looking into the camera lens in a photo shoot studio. Then we're going to hit create. And whilst this generates, she sits on a chair looking into the camera lens. She is wearing a white lacy dress and her hair and makeup are beautiful. Hit generate. Then the next one we are going to type. She stands in a room with lights and RGB glow. She is wearing a black top, blue denim jacket, white trousers and black high heel shoes. Her makeup is perfect and her hair is up in a tight bun. Whew, perfect. We now have our five images we are going to need to create our character. So now we are going to click on character and then we are going to click create character and start with four images. Now we are going to name our character and this one I'm going to call Holly. <laughs> yes, Holly is a good name for her. Then we add our five images we just generated. Now the first image is the most important. So pick the one that has the most up close view of her face. And in my case, it's this one. So I'm going to work backwards and select all of these. Okay, now we have them locked in. We hit create character. Now, generating a character can take a few minutes. So whilst that generates, you can grab yourself a drink or get some air for a few minutes. And then when you come back, you will see your character has been created. So. Let me show you now how we can use Holly to do anything that we want. So I'm going to hit create on Holly and it's going to take us to enter a prompt. You will notice the model selected is character and in our case, Holly. Then I'm going to enter the prompt. Holly is sitting outside in the rain. It is nighttime. She is sitting on a bench in the dark under a street light. She is wearing a beautiful black dress that is soaking wet along with her hair. She looks into the camera and looks sad. 
Now, because we have said in the prompt her clothes, we are going to need to untick keep clothes the same. And then we are going to set the aspect ratio to cinema. And then the number of images we would like to generate. And then hit create. Then we wait for that to generate. And there we go. She looks amazing. Wow. Let's do another. Holly close-up shot wearing headphones at a studio condenser microphone, getting ready to record her latest album. She is wearing a white t-shirt and black trousers. Her hair is up in a ponytail. Then we are going to hit create again, and we wait for the generation. And these came out awesome. It really listened to what I wanted it to do. Great images. Now, you all ask also about two characters in one scene. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to add myself and Holly to a scene together. So how you do this is under where it says Holly, you choose add character. Now you select your second character using the exact method I just showed you in this tutorial. So I'm going to select me. Then I'm going to type into the prompt. They are both on a stage singing into microphones, close up shot. Sky is wearing a white dress and Holly is wearing a black dress and then I'm going to hit generate. Let that finish generating. <laughs> and there it is. These look incredible. And that is how you can do two characters consistently in one scene. Anyways guys, now you all know how to make consistent characters using OpenArt AI. I really hope you enjoyed my tutorial and this has helped you. The link is in the description. If you are going to follow my tutorial and set up an account in OpenArt AI, then please use my link and help me help you. And continue to make these tutorials and music videos doing incredible things with AI. Every sign up helps my channel and helps me provide for my supporters with more tutorials and different platforms as I explore them. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I always say this, guys. It means a lot with all the support I'm getting. If you want to join my Discord, then the link is in the description below. Once again, <laughs> thank you all for coming to see me. And as always, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.